again Luna Wolf here for another Q&A video this time I have another four questions so let's get it into it Jazzy the Fox what are the pros and cons about fursuiting good things are it's a lot of fun you get to be yourself in public where you can't normally if you're out of the suit you get to be an animal if you're that kind of person who suits you like acts as that animal when I am in toxic I will like meow and that so like act like a cat uh, sometimes I'll like act like a wolf or something like a dragon or wolf if I'm in midnight and like a wolf if I'm in Luna it just depends on if if I'm like if I want to really but yeah it's like a lot of fun bad things is you have to drink a lot you have to make sure that you don't get too hot it's like really really warm in this yeah, I'm already kind of sweating there are some limits so you can't do as much things as if you are out of suit so like especially if you've got like a bodysuit and especially did you grade bad in full suit because you have to make sure that you don't rip the fur when you're like dancing or running or stuff like that so you can't do as much as you can out of suit but it's really fun <laughs> And if you actually know how to sew, you can easily fix the some like, little rip from that. So next question, AJ James, what do you think of the amount of art theft in the fandom? Do not steal art. I am kind of an artist. I haven't done commissions, but I do a lot of art, and I sometimes do fan art and do some requests and art trades, especially most of this on Furry Amino. So far, I don't know if it has happened to me, but it has happened to like a lot of people. Some people have had like completed artwork taken and like, posted on other stuff, not on their account. And it's just really wrong, like really wrong, because it's not right. They have spent like a lot of time on that piece of art and someone has just took it and posted it on somewhere where it's not even supposed to be and I haven't even asked if they could use it in anything. It's it's just wrong. If you're gonna use someone's art in a, like in a collage or something, you need to ask. <laughs> Please do not steal art. Some people spend like weeks or months trying to do some of these pieces of art. Then you're taking it and maybe tracing over it and using it as your own. If you were a little kid, like I used to do this, I used to get pieces of artwork and have it in front of us and then draw it freehand and then colour it in. But I then do not post that on different media saying, oh this is my piece of art like original piece of art it's not you have just copied someone else's work yes it might have been freehand like I have done but it wasn't mine I have yes I have kept these pieces of artwork that I've done like copied kind of thing but in a folder so I can see progress of what I used to do when I was little compared to now kind of thing so I know how far I've come but I don't then post that on social media saying look at my original piece of art isn't it amazing no don't do that just don't want to okay next question mail bt things you like and dislike about the furry community favorite fursuiters makers or favorite people in the community i like how like most people in the furry fandom i'm saying pretty much majority of fandom is super nice like people that i don't even know on furry amino sometimes start a group chat with us and just say like hi how are you what have you been doing are you okay and stuff like that and i'm like i don't know you but you're so nice thank you and one person that i've done a request thing for on furry amino the game that was asking if i could draw a headshot sketch kind of thing of their friend's character and then they asked if i could color it in so I done it digitally and they said that that image was for their friend when they reached like a milestone kind of thing so they were getting like different images of their friend's character to give to their friend once they have reached that milestone and I find that so nice because they've gone out their way to gather up different images of a character that is not theirs to then give to someone else and sometimes it's kind of hard to ask people if they can just do like a free request kind of thing. I'm fine with it because I can't do commissions. Like I can't, I have no way to actually get money like at the minute. So that's why I do like art trades and some requests kind of things. But some people that do like commissions, it would be hard to get free things. But sometimes you can ask and they would do it. But it's, sometimes it is hard to ask people that 
because they don't because you don't know who they are and then you don't know what the outcome would be like if they would say yes or no or be nice or mean about it most people are super nice which i love like this is the whole concept of this conversation thing uh, but yeah people are so nice and i've been posting like a lot of stuff on furry me you I, this is not a sponsored video. Not a sponsored video. I've posted like a lot of things about like the art and fursuits. And people have been commenting like, oh that's so good. And like it's like really good, so amazing and, and so cute and stuff like that. And sometimes when I see them comment, I'm like, it makes my day because it means that there are people out there like like my stuff, not just me or my mom. That's what I like about furry fandom. Favourite fursuits are Kairu, Majora Strawberry, Rika, just general people. <laughs> uh, there are like more fursuits than that. I promise you that is. But they've just gone out of my mind. Makers. Because I make my own suit, I have not commissioned anyone, but there are some fursuit makers that I do like. The Mischief Makers. Don't Hook Cacti. More for their Tisa Brazos. Matrices. Dot neck thingy, whatever how you pronounce that name. Basically, nearly everyone. Oh, I just love the suit. Next question Tiny Teeth. What is your favourite part of the fandom? The fursuits and the art. It's just so amazing of how much effort people put into the suits and the artwork, and then it comes out amazing like professionals. Even people that do it for a hobby sometimes they then make it and they spend so much time making it and then it comes out nice or amazing or it might come out like not so good but then they approve they, they keep working on it and then it becomes amazing so it's just like the creativity that people put into the fandom as well. There's so many good personas that I just love and so nice to see that people in this fandom also do not care what other people think. It's just like really nice to see that other people are into the same thing that I am in, like I like, so I just love that. That's the end of this Q&A video. The next video will be out next Friday and there'll be like four more questions on that video. So I will see you then!